All right, I think this is the last of the modeling that I'll do. I think I'll let uh, you guys uh, figure out the rest with the crown molding, door frame, maybe even a door. You could probably even copy this door and pull it over and stretch it out uh, so you can have a little bit of color. Uh, here, don't worry about door handle or whatnot. Uh, what I'm going to do is just do a real simple model of this lamp. So I'm not even going to worry about the tripod. Just made the post coming down. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a cylinder. I think we've got division of 20. So go ahead rotate this up. Hit F. Hit uh, rotate this guy. Go ahead and size it down so we can see the lamp behind it. This is a tricky one because we only have half of the lamp data, so we're just going to have to fake what we have. Perfect. Uh, definitely, you will have a little bit more time to spend with this. I'd rather you spend time making it perfect than watching me. Uh, work with this. All right. Getting closer. We have the angle of attack. It's going to be a lot easier to model the rest. So I think we just hit E. Slept on my faces real quick. This is where it's a pain where you have a lot of faces. Oops. Okay. It'd be helpful if you got the door and everything out of the way. Uh, okay, so you can put that on a layer if you want, but again, getting lazy. So, uh, just hitting uh, one, I'm going to do several extrusions here. Uh, do not have the model in front of me, so I have no idea what this actually looks like. Just going by uh, what I have here. Oh, I'm going to size this up a little G. W. in the reverse and I was supposed to extrude again and I did not so okay, let's go ahead and extrude because it um, did what I did all right okay, I'm just making a bowl of shape all right literally let's 
Look at your model, I have no idea. I may have to look at the picture reference I give you guys uh, to see how this goes. G, w, G, w, I think it's just going to stretch back out. R, G, w. Now this would have been a probably a easier way to model if we just had the photograph uh, versus our triangle data. But again, yeah, this is practice. We're, uh, Maybe two of our surfaces. Okay, again, when you're uh, extruding this stuff, just make sure that you have keep faces together. If not, you're going to be uh, in trouble. Alright, so hit R. Alright, almost done. I've got the board of tears. Alright, so this is the actual handle. It gets fatter as it goes out. I was actually procrastinating on doing this myself just because it is a pain. Alright, so you can see our cylinder is off from the beginning, so it's not matching up. So, G, W. So I turn off my base. Let's look how awful it is. Not bad. Uh, right, so I do want to uh, extrude those faces back in. Don't want it flat. We definitely want to. Backtrack this again. Hopefully, I'm not running out of time. Let's see, how we're doing time. Nine minutes, okay, not too bad. Alright, so we'll keep modeling this for another couple more minutes. Now, you guys will not have the uh, center dot in here, it's a lot easier for you to uh, grab these. You could also use a paintbrush tool to select it if you have some really complex geometry. But I am lazy, so okay. So I hit extrude, pulled it in just just a little bit, just to create a lip. Extrude again, hit W, and push this up to my next level. All the way up to my next extrusion. Okay, what we want to do is pull this inside. 
GW. And what this is going to create is, you know, the inside of it. So when we put our light source in there, this will behave correctly. GW. All right. And all this is is definitely to set up uh, a nice scene to render a photorealistic scene. Okay, I'm going really uh, tiny with that. All right here, hit R. And you can probably hit a uh, wireframe if you want. You can see how uh, tight or thin that membrane is. All right, so I hit, hit five. All right, and we'll, we probably will relax this or maybe even uh, smooth it. So I'll go ahead and hit three so I can see what it looks like. All right. All right, so I'll we'll stop there. Um, there is our lamp. I'm not going to model the uh, the tripod. Uh, I will for the rendering, but I'm not going to uh, spend time uh, modeling. It's it's pretty simple. It's just a cylinder. Again, you don't have to do the tripod uh, base, or actually you can. Just it won't take that long. That'll be a little bit of homework assignment. All right. So I stop there, and on the next uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do one of these uh, boxes. Okay, I'm not going to do them all, but I'm going to show you how to do one of them, uh, how to UV map it, and then the whole idea of UV mapping all of these today should be pretty simple. The door, the, the wood paneling, and the four boxes, and we may even go over that uh, next class, how to UV map a cylinder. It's very simple. All right, good luck.